So how do you combine those two uh, beliefs, essentially, uh, that, you are, that you are a believer in the European system, but you uh, are skeptical of the euro itself? Well, the, the euro uh, has been introduced without the normal political and fiscal underpinnings of a single currency, and in order to preserve the euro, we have been compelled to put in place uh, policies which are deeply recessive, uh, which are socially disruptive and which split essentially Europe into two. Mm. And the European Union is taking the political flack uh, from the electors uh, uh, for that reason. Mm -hmm. And I want to preserve the European Union uh, rather than to preserve the Euro. Mm -hmm. And the European Union deserves preserving because it means free movement of people, of trade, but more importantly, it means a certain type of relations between countries within the Union. Mm -hmm. These are relations which uh, uh, do not involve bullying, which do not involve the, even the, uh, uh, the ghost of the hint of the use of force. Mm -hmm. This is very unique and this deserves to be preserved. During the crisis in Greece, for example, there was discussion of Greece possibly leaving the Eurozone. Uh, should it have done so? Economically, it would have been much more rational in 2010 when that crisis began uh, to have an agreement between Greece and the other members of the Eurozone uh, to uh, essentially withdraw Greece for a period of, let's say, 15 years from the Eurozone and then to negotiate a rescue package uh, with the IMF. Uh, but there was nothing in the treaties which uh, made this possible. And politically, neither the Greeks nor the other members of the Eurozone were ready to uh, live with the political consequences of such an operation. And the, uh, the working assumption was that if Greece left the Euro, it would also have to leave the European Union. Mm -hmm. And of course, for Greece, this would have been a political and strategic catastrophe of the first order. Mm -hmm. So, the, in order to preserve the euro, Greece had to go into the longest and the deepest recession, depression, in economic history in peacetime for the last two centuries. About Iceland. Iceland is a member of the European economic zone. Uh, there's a lot of debate here as to our future vision vis-a-vis -vis Europe. In your opinion, what should we do? As an outsider, uh, I would not advise you joining the Euro. Uh, having the Euro would not have prevented the crisis you had in 2008, and having the Euro would have prevented you from devaluing. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that sense, uh, uh, no Euro would seem to be the right thing to do. But being in the European Union, would have prevented you from being bullied by the United Kingdom and the Netherlands at the time because this sort of bullying does not take place in the European Union because that's not the way the Union works. Right. Uh, and therefore, uh, ideally, once again, speaking as an outsider, and uh, you will forgive me for doing so, uh, a status like that of Sweden would seem to me to make a lot of sense. Sweden is a country which is a full member of the European Union, uh, which uh, uh, supports uh, the efforts of the members of the Eurozone to preserve their own currency, but which does not join the Eurozone. But it was pointed out here that had we been a member of the, uh, of the European Union, we might have had to take uh, you know, the road that Ireland did, which, which was to make the taxpayers pay no. for the, for the travails of the, of the banks. No, no uh, well, Ireland was a member of the Euro, uh, yes, not true. simply of the European Union. And I would also add uh, that although the European Union did things to Ireland which were not always pleasant, the biggest and the worst thing that Ireland did was of a purely national making. Mm -hmm. And that was the decision by a discredited, incompetent, and some say corrupt uh, political leadership uh, to uh, uh, have uh, the taxpayer assume all of the liabilities of all of the Irish banking system. Uh, uh, that never happened in any other Euro, uh, 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 other country of the Eurozone. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this was an extreme case, uh, uh, not simply 
of the difficulties of being in the euro, but of having a substandard political uh, leadership.